What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to the Cat Lady. Um, in the last episode, Liz, at, or not Liz. <laughs> Sorry, this is a new recording session. I still don't remember exactly what's going on. Yeah, she wanted to have coffee with us. What's what's her? I don't remember her name. I'm sorry. I should, but I do not. What's wrong, Mitzi? Mitzi, there we go. What a cool um, name. I like that name. I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. Me neither. I've been thinking about it the last few days, and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Just Maybe I've been a face. fool all along, looting myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. He's right in here. Just knock on some doors. Maybe Seriously? I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know. Last night I made this well map. Did you actually? Ooh. I made a map. This is our building. I got a cat paw floors. on the top right. There are two flats on each floor. Yeah. You 48 really plus 197? Me? That's so great, Miss what A. What does that mean? How will I ever pay you back for this? That'll be $500. I'll think about it later. But we haven't found him yet, have we? 12 no. Helen Road. But I feel that together we stand a chance. <sighs> so? Let's talk about it. What do we know already? Mm-hmm. I don't know that rude bald guy lives in flat six. Does oh yeah, he's the guy that lives under me. That's the guy I was complaining I about me that playing rude piano. Bald guy lives in flat six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you about him, didn't I? It I could so. very well be him. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Right. That's Brian Palmer. Yeah. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. Yeah, they complain a lot. He's annoying. I remember some woman lived there with him. Ooh, maybe, I'm maybe I have Adam is a girl. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose yeah, so. I suppose so. I don't see why I not. So. He's me. Okay, let's take a closer look at him. Sorry, I'm adjusting my seating position. I might be being loud. Pretty sure. Wait, which one did you ask about? I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Are these all accurate? Like, can I get this wrong? Okay, well, let's just I'm go all through sure options. One of the flats is empty. Hmm. Which one? I have no idea. I think it's the one on the first oh. floor. Empty? Question mark. There's an, There's odd, an married. odd married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice. It's him! He's a quiet type. But Could very well I be heard him. him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. Yeah, and you can be anyone you want on the like internet. A madman, you know. I gather they must have some serious relationship problems, and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. Yeah. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbors. I know it's none of my business. I like this music. This music's but really I can't nice. I just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. It's almost like and cheery what? music. Ivy Davis. I can't remember now. So, anyway, Ivy and Sophie are completely different bright, names. Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies. So Ooh. skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking <laughs> skeleton. I love skeletons. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day. Whoa, that's too all. much. It's way too much. She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat. Oh. Lucifer. <laughs> Well I then. I wonder what happened to the poor little chap. Well, that's on flat three. Mm. We can cross off our flat. Oh, oh or can we? Yep. Good. That we're only on the second seven floor. Flats. Also, there's an old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. Oh, Brian's above me. I thought he was below me. For some reason, I thought it was flat eight. There are strange noises coming from flat like seven. Like satanic rituals. Interesting. What? Kind of noises. Hey, uh, uh, like yeah. screaming, explosions, oh. guns. He plays the video then games. There are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. He's totally a gamer, I know for sure. Mm. <laughs> He's yeah, a gamer. Yeah. It's worth checking anyway. He's you know a gamer. the person who lives in that flat? No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbors' gossips. Hmm. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. First floor? Well, you said one of the flats was empty. Yes, which means the owner of the other flat keeps a dog. Mommy! I Aww. hate dogs. What? <laughs> Tell me about it. 
noisy, smelly creatures. Are you serious? They're not noisy you if you train them right. Adam being a dog lover? And if they Perhaps are smelly, give them a bath. It might be worth looking into. There's a woman with a baby living It's upstairs. definitely her. It has to be. Your husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. It's definitely her. I do, it's usually in the hall. When she's pushing a pram with a baby inside, Down she always stairs? has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly I really like this music. If she needed help to carry it upstairs, and she's like, "No!" It's I not hesitated me. for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. Mm. Okay, I think that's all that we know at the moment. Ambient transition. I'm assuming that's what it is. Okay, I don't have to do anything there. I guess that's supposed to say times passed or something. You mentioned a pram. Yes. What this reminds it? me. I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. Nope. Why do you want to know? She is curious. She I'm wants to be my curious. friend. I, I, just... I like meeting new people and getting to know them. I, won't be I can mean. tell there's some dark secret you've been keeping to yourself for a long time. Yeah, what are your secrets, Susan? You might feel so much better if you share it with someone. Let me do it. You don't want to know about my problems. <coughs> What's going with that want one? To know about my problems. That one sounds enraging, and I'm not an enraging I kind of person. I just really want us to be friends. Well, <laughs> I swear to God, I could do with, with one. people, anyways. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. Trust Mitzi unless she's actually a person. I told you Which about Jack well and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't she's ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... Did she have a child that died? It's interesting because Mitzi for me? Mitzi looks a lot like um, Anne Burton. And they both look a lot like Susan. I wonder if that's going to be a point. I was thinking about that earlier today when I was lying in bear. I'm like, I was thinking about this game and I was wondering, is, it, is that going to be a, like relevant later on? Did, what happened? Why did glass break? Uh-oh. Miss Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. Oh. Don't get mad over a mug. Don't cry or spill coffee you glass. Know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. You should, Susan. Oh, great. Another knock knock. This would be very scary when it turns out to be Mitzi and she teleported. All the way across the room. Is she gone? She's gone. I want to see Mitzi first. Maybe Mitzi's knocking on her. There's Mitzi's room now. I shouldn't go in uninvited. Okay, can, can I examine it? Okay, I, I want to see what Mitzi might think about this catastrophe of the knocking of the doors. I get the feeling it's going to be bad. Hmm. I almost feel like... Oh, <clears throat> there is a reason to save in this game. I almost feel like like there's no real danger since I am immortal. Who is it? It's I me. Mean. Oh, I love it when someone doesn't answer when I ask, who is it? Hang on a second. It's like, oh, I thought that was already on. Well, ah, what the heck? Flowers. Oh, for Mitzi. I was like, for me? But they're probably for Mit, maybe. Oh. What? What's that in your other hand? It's a hammer. It's not hammer time. Mitzi! Go away. Leave me alone. Help! Mitzi, help! Who's this guy? Uh oh. Run, run, run. I can't, can't stop me now. Oh, he turned off the light. He just wanted, he wanted to not be able to see. Go backwards. I'm walking backwards right now. We go outside. <laughs> uh oh. 
Why does everybody want to kill me? It's a freaking parasite, but still. Oh. Well, that blood didn't go the direction I planned it to. It was Mitzi over here. Did Mitzi witness this? Oh, God. Now what? Am I going to be controlling Mitzi? Oh, what's in the bottom right hand? Did I break the game? That was weird. Someone was in the bottom right hand corner. It was scary. Hey, it's the crow! Oh, the crow was an eye last time. There's an eye right now, and there's crowing in the background. So, which leads me to believe something with the crow is about to come up. Hey, crow. Or the crow god, or whatever. What was that guy? Was he? Was he just the crow? Ooh, am I controlling the crow now? Nope. Guess not. Oh, where am I waking up this time? Why do I keep finding myself all over these crazy places? <sighs> well, maybe we should check these. Because that looks like to lead outside. Let's see. Yep. The hell is this thing? Hello? What the hell are you? It's a monster. What is this thing? I think the worst thing about it is it looks a bit like me. <laughs> oh, in the background, I'm in my hospital suit. How does it look like me? It doesn't look a thing like me. Jeez, Susan, have a little faith or something. Okay, this guy's gonna probably come in use later. He sounds like a mouse. He chirps. What is he doing, though? He's like... He's like using his little needle arms to make needles. <laughs> or to sew stuff, I don't know. Uh, locked, but there must be a way to open this padlock. Examine the pa- Oh, great. I don't know. It's gonna be... One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, I did it. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Does this go all the way to the nine? Okay, I thought so. Can I exit out of here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, okay, there we go. Yeah, I did it. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll f we'll keep a keep our eyes out for any digits. What? My apartment. My piango. Am I in hell again? Great. So I'm gonna replace my wallpaper with skeleton heads. I love it when that happens. God damn, who keeps doing that? <laughs> this room. Why did it have to be in this room? I don't know. Is that is as far as we go? Yep, as far as we go. There's too many skeleton heads in the way. Rude. Okay, it's locked. Okay, I guess that means only leaves us to go back outside. And this mirror is still here with a little note in it. I guess that's probably just a price tag or something. That made me slightly jump. You might have heard my voice. I was like, <gasps> oh, it's a wall. Um, it seems I'm trapped in my own living room. Well, it's not really my apartment. I hope it isn't me neither. I don't think I'm strong enough to break through this wall. Okay. Help. I'm trapped. Oh. That's not good. It's freaking skeleton walls. I got dang it. Strange, that perfume here seems loose. Maybe secret part Oh, nice! I'm gonna, this is gonna be a secret passage. I wonder if this is gonna be in my apartment, too. My fingers are too thick. I need something sharp to lodge it. Like what? Wait, what's this? Break. Move. What's that? There's knife underneath. Good. Knives have been quite useful lately. Yeah, true. Okay, stab it. Wait, let's examine it. A large butcher's knife. It makes me think all about ultra. Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Famous shower scene in the hall. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what that is. Do you know what that is? You should. Ah, I knew there was something hidden behind there. A key? And what is that? A lever? Lever alone! Ha 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 Sorry. Okay, pull it. Is the wall right beside me now? Hey, it's the baby staff. Why is everything coming back? This is weird. Hello? Oh, no. The wall's over there, actually. Okay, um... We, I don't know. Oh, do we use this to hit our way through this or something? God, I'm so happy the baby mace has come back again. <laughs> Bam! Goodbye, skeletons. Yeah, you get out of here, suckers. All oh, you suckers. Now, what's this key for? Examine. Key to the spare bedroom. Ah, it's Mitzi's key. Okay, let's go take a look. I totally knew there's, there's gonna be something relevant with that mirror. I thought there'd be either that note or something relevant there. Uh, okay. Well, we have a freaking mace for that. Arrgh! Hulk smash! Okay, I'm happy that actually worked. God dang, who's gonna clean up all this skeleton mess? Hey, all these skeletons. God dang, rude assholes. Okay, make sure that didn't open up or something. Wait, can I use that in this as well? 
take a look. I don't think so, but let's try it. Nope. Nope, not here. Why not? There's clearly a wall of skeleton skulls there. Oops, that's still gonna be locked. I gotta use the key, right? That's how this game works. Oh. Hey! What? Interesting. Huh. Let's blow up this candle. It doesn't seem like whatever candle we blow, I don't think it really matters. At least I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And we're back in the field. That's weird. Maybe this story's gonna make sense at the end of this chapter again. Oh! Oh, hey, this is where the burning cart comes into play! Right? That we saw in the fields before? Maybe? Maybe not? Hello? Hello? Can I move? Is there, is there anything? There, d hello? Hello? Millions of confused kisses. Millions of them! Oh. That's it? Oh, that was a sacrifice of soul, right, 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 I don't know if I brought it up yet, but whenever you blow up the candle and you get a cutscene, um, if we would have agreed to do the Queen of Maggots bidding, she would have said that, um, every time you kill a parasite, a sacrifice of soul and a sacrifice of blood is needed. So I guess whenever we blow up a candle, someone dies, and that's the cutscenes that are the showing people that die and the souls that are being sacrificed, I suppose. Um, we can't use this, can we? Okay. That, that'll come in useful later, I guess. Uh-huh. Can we, like, use it to pry open? Hmm? That's it? Just hmm? <laughs> That's weird. Okay, well, let's try going outside. Take oh! Oh, we gotta kill that alien creature thing, don't we? Let's take a look what's up here. Junk. Let's see anything useful here. Just all, all parts of boats and empty barrels. Are we actually here? I have a feeling we're not actually here. Is this another limbo thing? Look at you. It's beautiful. It's hard to tell from this distance. It's completely abandoned. Yeah. Salmon. It'll probably fall apart if I got it. It's so old, rotted through. Yay. Rotted stuff. Hey. Ooh, the number three. That's definitely not going to be useful for anything at all. Don't be weird. It's not like we have anything to unlock with a sequence of numbers. Is that a number? No. Seven? Is this seven? That looks like a seven to me. One. Is this an eight? That's a one. Oh my, no, that's a four! Why is there so many numbers? Actually, maybe not. Maybe the boat ma makes it into an eight or something. I can't understand most of it. It's all technical stuff. Wait, what's this? Minimum passenger holding capacity two. How bizarre. That is bizarre. Elevator. An elevator would it take me under the surface of the sea. Doesn't look very safe. Why do I be the only way out of here? Okay, um. Well, can we... Okay, let's activate this and see what happens. There's no power. Okay. Must activate somewhere else. Maybe the building at the bottom of the pier. Pier! Okay, let's go back. And... Well, there's a few things we could try. I believe we do have the number to the combination here. Because this is definitely a 4. This is an 8. Although, look, there's like a 7 in the back. Although, that's what you probably could buy. So, it's... Uh, 3, 8... Four, three, eight, four. Let's go check that out. Oh no, it's gonna be behind this padlock, padlocked door. Probably something extremely scary. Let's go inside. Okay, examine padlock. Three, eight, four. There we go. Okay. So, we have two options in the next episode. We could either go kill this alien thing with this knife, or we could go examine what the heck's in the back of this. Hey, there's a four on the door itself. That's weird. I don't know if you guys can see that with the quality. It's right beside me right now. Like, my boob is essentially touching. You see that four? I don't know. Maybe my quality might be good enough to pick it up. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. My name's Chris. The next one, we'll go stab aliens, and then we'll find out what the heck is behind this locked door in this abandoned boathouse. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!